All right, so hello, hello. Good evening, everyone. Hi. Hello, Hi. Jocelyn. Hi. All right, so let me ask, is it raining uh, at your home right now? Is it raining over there? Or not? Not yet. Okay, so welcome everyone. Welcome. We're just going to wait a couple of minutes so we can start this class tonight. Okay. So just one moment over here. So it, it's it's uh, very windy today, right? There's a lot of wind today. Maybe there's not a lot of rain, but you can see out there's a lot of wind and, and it's just drizzling like raining just a little bit you know i hope you're safe you know secure at home and nothing bad happens to your family all right so in the meeting i already have um um adriana jose antonio jocelyn Margarita, Mauricio, Nat, Nati, Raquel, Luis. And then I have a K40, but I don't know the name over here. I am K40. Garcia. Excuse me? <clears throat> I am K40. All right. Garcia. Garcia, you say. What's your first name, sir? Edwin. All right, Edwin. Okay. Thanks for that. So 10 participants right now. So I, I remember yesterday, this is the last thing that we did, okay? But as I said, uh, also last night, today we're going to start with this new vocabulary. And let's try not to waste too much time over here. So, okay, uh, welcome everyone. So let's get started with tonight's class. As I explained yesterday, the class, I mean, this class is going to follow some steps. And the first step of tonight's class is the uh, vocabulary word, which is the words of the day. So every single class, I'm going to start by giving you some vocabulary words. So tonight, we're going to study, or we're going to compare and to contrast these two words. Okay, so let me just get something over here. Okay, so the words for the evening or the words for, for tonight are currently. All right, so currently versus actually. Okay, so if you have maybe your notebook with you, or if you have, uh, you are a very um, technological person, you may have uh, in, your, in your cell phone, I don't know, maybe an agenda to write these words down. Why am I presenting to you these two words? I would say word number one, okay? And this is going to be the word number two, the first one and the second word, currently and actually, all right? Any volunteers who can tell me, hey, teacher, Mr. Alfaro or Frank, yeah, currently means this in Spanish and actually means this in Spanish without looking at a dictionary or without Googling this? <laughs> Who can tell me the difference between currently and actually, please? Somebody says yes, uh, Edwin. <clears throat> All right, so my, my question is, what does, what does currently mean in Spanish? Can somebody tell me, please? 
currently is actualmente si no se equivoco. All right, and actually, sir. Es de hecho o en realidad, creo. You you got it. That's it. That's it. Okay. You know, I, I'm glad that you know this and that, that you're aware that currently means yes in this moment, you know, nowadays and actually means in reality. And that's true. So currently means uh, actualmente then actually means eh, de hecho. Let's take a look at some synonyms or some words that are similar to currently. Okay. So currently means now at the present moment. Actually means in reality, and it is often used to make corrections. So, for example, if I say uh, today is Monday, okay, or I can say uh, it's been, you know, it's been a very sunny day. Or I can say it's not raining, and then somebody can tell me, no, you're wrong. Actually, it's raining a lot right now, okay? And we can also say, we can say currently, we have a very bad situation in El Salvador. Okay, we can say that. So currently, uh, I'm studying or I study English at 8 o'clock, at 8 p.m. So you see the difference between these two words. I think that you guys, you know, ladies and gentlemen, you're not going to be making these mistakes, you know, confusing currently or with actually uh and i think you don't do it or, or you won't do it in the future so actually if you can just write this down it means in reality and then uh, currently means now yes does somebody want to say something over here any questions so far everyone do you have any questions for me right now do you have any questions for me right now? Or are we good? Are we okay with this? Um, sorry? Do you have any questions about these, these two words, currently and, and, and actually? Or should, should we continue you know, with, the, with the rest of the class? Do you have any questions, everyone? No, I don't have no, any teacher. Okay, so no questions at all. I'm glad that you're still here. Thank you. So just to give you some, some more details about this, okay? So take a look at this. So let's try to increase our, our vocabulary. You can say, nowadays uh, I study English at Inglés Corporativo online. You can say that, okay? You can say currently, this month of October. And you can also say, in fact, I'm learning every single class. Or in fact, I need to practice more my English, okay? So you can also say as a matter of fact, which is the same thing. So actually and in fact mean the same thing, okay? So you can say, usted puede decir de hecho, actually, you can also say in fact. Either word will be okay. All right. <clears throat> can somebody can somebody tell me uh, an example using either currently or actually? You know, uh, a personal example that you can tell me. Hey, teacher, I want to say uh, a sentence or an example for the class. Any participation right now, please, with these uh, two words. ¿Alguien quiere participar y utilizar esas dos uh, palabras en, en una oración? You want to make it personal right now? <clears throat> yeah, go ahead, sir. Edwin, go ahead. Uh, I don't know. If, uh, I don't know the I am, um, I had a bad with that. Uh, I believe that I can say I currently study English in the class. Yeah. I don't know mm -hmm. if that's correct. Yeah, that's correct. You say, uh, yeah, I uh, currently study English. Actually, 
But uh -huh. actually, my free time study mathematics. Okay. So you want to say in, uh, actually, meaning de hecho. De hecho, you want to say that. So, <clears throat> okay, thank you. Uh, so, uh, act, uh, actually, I study English because I want to help my family. Right. You want to get a job. That's what you're saying. So you, you want to get a job for a, for a, maybe to work in a call center or to, to, to do something like that, right? Yes, I consent. Okay, but but currently you 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 are studying English, okay? So nowadays, in this specific moment, okay, I appreciate that. One more, please. Thank you, Adriana, and thank you, Edwin. So one more, please. One more volunteer, so we can move to the next activity for the night. Does anybody want to participate over here, please? Eh, voy a decir una, yeah, una that's frase. Okay. That's okay, don't worry about it. Eh, mommy, I, I really love you. Mm -hmm. Entra ahí, sí. You say, you say, mommy, I really love you, you said. That's what you said? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can say, yeah, that's correct. Maybe you can say, uh, I really love my mom you can say actually she is my best friend something like that mm, mm. When, yeah. we, when, when we use actually that means that you want to emphasize quiere como enfatizar algo with actually yeah or corregir a alguien uh, you, you can say mm -hmm. i i am uh, my mom's favorite daughter <laughs> or my uh, my mom's favorite son soy el hijo favorito o la hija favorita de mi mamá y salta a su hermana y le dice a su hermano Actually, I'm my dad's favorite. Yo soy el favorito de ellos. Mm. De hecho. Okay? Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Uh, Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. So, Mauricio, you want to say something, Mauricio? It's cold. Actually, I have a sweater. Yeah, that, that's correct. Yeah. Yeah, it's cold. Actually, I'm freezing right now. And that's true. You know, I'm close to the window right now. Thank you, Mauricio. Appreciate that. So, and currently... Uh, I would say, I would say, you know, I drink coffee at night. That's what I have over here. <laughs> so a real example in there. So let's try to move forward in here. Uh, Will you? Yeah, go ahead, please. That's okay. Go ahead. I am currently working in the house, in my house. All right. Okay. So you're working from home. Would you, so you are doing what we call home office, right? Home office. Yes. Yes. Okay. Due to the uh, COVID, right? COVID-19. Am I correct? Correct. I'm doing the same. <laughs> okay. So we're, we're, we're uh, in the same situation. Thank you, sir. All right. So uh, look at my screen. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, solo para... Disculpe, solo para... No se preocupe. No se preocupe. No se preocupe. Sí, sí. Realmente se utiliza para algo que está pasando en el segundo en que tú lo dices. Ah, vaya, permítame, déjeme subir Actual un poquito. Ya, puedes... yeah, tell me again, please. Yes. Con eh, realidad, that pass in the same moment that you say. Uh, actually, it's a thing that you can say. Okay. 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 Okay, de hecho, eh, currently sí tiene que ver con tiempo, pero no tan inmediato, sino que en la actualidad, digamos. That's what you say, en la actualidad. O, no, o normalmente, o estos días, that's what you say, currently. Okay, o al corriente, that's what we say. Actually has nothing to do with time, Edwin. O sea, actually no tiene nada que ver con el tiempo. No, it has nothing to do with time. Solamente usted dice... Uh, so, Edwin, uh, you speak a very nice English. Actually, your pronunciation is very nice, I can say. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm going beyond, you know, I'm making a, 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 my point stronger. That's what I say. En verdad, that's what we say. Okay. I can say uh, this year has been very uh, chaotic, you know, very difficult for most people. Actually, thousands of people lost their jobs. Okay. So, but, but now it's, cl it's clear, right? Yes. Yes. Uh, okay. Thank you. I'm glad to help over here. Now look at this screen, please. We have something cool, a snapshot. There's, a, a, there's a, a, an app, a very famous, you know, that you can download uh, from a uh, website, et cetera, which is called a snapshot, right? I think that's the name, but this is not the same. We have here friend finder. Remember yesterday that we study uh, a conversation. Let me just go back a little bit in here. All right, sorry about that. I think it's the next one. This one. So yesterday, we uh, practiced a conversation between who, who were the two people in the conversation? Can somebody tell me, please? This. It was Ted and. Um, uh, Ted and Anna, right? And what right. was what was the situation over here? Like, can somebody tell me like this? All right, so yesterday's conversation was about uh, Ted not being able to skate. So it was his first time skating and, and then Anna apparently is going to help him, right? Le va a ayudar a este jovencito, right? So we got Ted and Anna. So now we have this screen. Take a look at this. And I'm going to send this to you right now because this is the first thing you're going to practice in purse tonight, okay? So let me send uh, that image to you, all right, as I'm speaking right now. Is, is, that, is that clear? Yes, teacher. All right, appreciate your feedback. Thank you. So let me just one second. Because so right now, just take a look at that. So you see some information from, from these uh, two persons, you know, from these two people. You have Ted and then you have Anna over there. So let me just uh, find the, uh, you know, the right, doc uh, right document over here so I can send it to you right away. So just one second here. Okay. And I'm sending it to you as Sam is speaking right now. There you go. I think it's better if you have this uh, image with you in that way you can zoom in, uh, you know, to make it bigger and see and actually read if, if you want to have it with you. Did you get it, by the way? Did you, did, yes, I get it. All right, so you got the image. I sent it to the WhatsApp over there. So what you're gonna do right now with your uh, with your uh, classmate, you know, in purse, you're going to read the information that belongs to Ted and the personal information about Anna. And once you finish reading the information, you're going to discuss, van a decir su información. Okay, of course. I live in San Salvador, for example, or I live in Santa Ana, I live in, uh, I don't know, Mexicanos, Soyapango, etc. And then, uh, but my hometown is, let's see, let me give you my information, all right? So listen to me, please. I'm going to uh, give you an example. Primero van a leer. You're going to read the information. You have Ted Johnson and Ana Fernandez, all right? So, for example, if, uh, como lo voy a poner en parejas, por ejemplo, si está Mr. Manuel Duarte, o si, o si, o si tenemos a Adriana eh, Chávez, on, on the same team, por ejemplo, Adriana puede leer lo de Ted, and then uh, Mr. Manuel Duarte can read uh, Mr. Fernandez, etc. But what I want you to do is to read. Primero leamos la información en voz alta. You know, you read the information aloud, okay? 
once you're done reading the information, lo que van a hacer es replace the information. That's what you're going to do. Van a sustituir la información de estas personas with your own information. So you're going to replace Mr. Johnson's information with, let's see, if I'm Manuel, with my information, if I'm Adriana, with my information. Okay? And that's the second right. thing. The third thing is you're going to discuss, you're going to discuss if, if Ted and Anna could be friends. Abajo tenemos unas una preguntitas, ¿verdad? Y vamos a, a contestar las dos. Nos vamos a preguntar. We're going to ask and answer those two, those two questions. And the first question is, okay, the first question is, um, so let me just one second. So the first question is, do you think Ted and Anna could be friends? Can somebody tell me the second question right below, aquí abajo? Can somebody tell me the second question over here? Please. ¿Cuál es la segunda pregunta? Que me diga, teacher, I want to read it. Read it, please. Or just read it. Read it. Go ahead, Nati. You have your raise. Is social networking popular in your country? Do you, do you use any sites? Which ones? Yeah, you can tell me that the I use, I don't know, TikTok, you know, everybody has, has, got, has, you know, gone crazy about TikTok. And you may, you may use Facebook, you're from my generation, you may use Instagram, or maybe you don't like social media. It's up to you. Maybe, maybe you're the type of person who thinks that social media just brings problems to you. Okay? And that's okay. Entonces, recapitulando, you're going to read the information, Ted Johnson and Anna Fernandez, then you're going to replace the information with your own information. Pueden escribirla, pero lo que me interesa es que lo digan. You have an email information, tienen the current city that you live. Si usted vive en San Salvador, pero es de, soya, de, es de eh, Chalate, va a decir, uh, my current city is, or I live, or I, I currently live in, uh, I don't know, Apopa, or in San Salvador, but my hometown is Usulután, or, or etc. Like, for example, in my case, everyone, I live in Mexicanos, but my hometown is Berlin, and not Berlin, Germany, Berlin, Usulután, okay? okay? Is that clear? <laughs> yes, yes. All right, yes, appreciate that. Yes, I got it. Clear, como la horchata. All right, so okay. let me, yes. Uh, good night. I I I don't go back at mm -hmm. at eight because I go to the church, but I am here. All right. I appreciate you that you're here. We're, we're, we're gonna practice this and, right now. And I and don't understand. Can you repeat? Ya ya le explico. Um, permítame. Eh, Sulma, right? Uh, Sulma, right? All right, so let's join, let's join the, uh, the rooms, please. Thank you.
All right, so hello, hello. Do you need my help by any um, chance or not? No. Okay. Uh, la última. The, the last one, you mean? The which last one. one? <laughs> yes. Yeah, which, which one? The, the, the answer. Uh, the Greg, question, the question. My profile and compare it with Pop Harder. No, you don't have to do this one. We just do number one and two, please. Okay. Yeah, only the first one and the second one. This one, we don't have to do it. Okay. Okay, thanks. All right, so let me ask you, did you read already uh, Mr. Uh, John Sums and Mr. Fernandez's information? Did yes. you read already? Okay. And did you replace the information with your own information already? Yes. Yeah. So, for example, let me ask you, um, Mr. Lemus, so could you please just tell me your information? For example, you can say, uh, I'm a, I am a, I am a guy, for example, I, I live in San Salvador, but I am from, um, I don't know, from Santa Ana. My email address is, and then you tell me your email address, and then you continue with this. Yes. Um, okay. Um, I'm Mauricio Lemus. I have 16 years old. Uh, my currently city is Lourdes, Colón. Okay. My hometown is Santa Tecla. My email is Josue Mauricio at gmail.com. Okay. Um, my college is Jesus Obrero. I mean, so you are you are you studying at the university or do you go to a private school, Marie Mauricio? No, I have I stay in a high school. So you go to high school right now. Okay. Yeah. So you may say I go to high school and then you say the name. Because college is university. Uh si te quiere decir colegio privado. O colegio, perdón, diga private school. Oh, right. You say private school. Okay. Yes. So it means colegio. Yes, continue, please. Yes. And my likes and interest. I love the animals. Okay. I, I like to swim too. Mm -hmm. I like run and eat. <laughs> yeah, everybody, right? <laughs> yeah, me too, Mauricio. All right. Thank you. So, uh, and very quickly, what about you, Tanya? Would you like to share your information with us? Okay. Uh, sex, female, uh, uh, currency city, uh, La Libertad, hometown, Ilopango, contact information. Uh, let me, let me, let me just stop you over there. Yeah. It, what you just uh, are telling me, it's perfect, but if you want to say, let's say, more, more interactive, ¿por qué no lo hacemos de la siguiente forma, si le parece? Uh, so I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a woman or I'm a girl. I currently live in San Salvador, but my hometown is Soyapango. My email address is blah, 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 and then you continue with that. Pongámosle el my, por favor, or I live. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but currently in city, uh, La Libertad, and I live in uh, Ciudad Versailles, and my hometown is Ilopango. Mm -hmm. uh, my contact information, uh, Tania0926 at, at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. uh, my education and work, uh, I finished the university, I'm civil engineer. And I work in Holcim, El Salvador. Mm -hmm. uh, I like to uh, play soccer. And, and I, I go to the beach. I like okay. to the beach. Yes. What's your favorite, what's your favorite place in the, the beach? Which one? I don't know, yes. Los Cobanos or... Tunco. <laughs> Tunco. I, I never been to the, to the Tunco, but my favorite is, um, what's the name of Sunset? Something like that. Oh. That's the name. Yes, that's a great one. Okay, so let's go back to the main session. But remember, I'm going to be asking to share the information from your from your partner. So in this case, Tanya, 
you're going to tell the class Mauricio's information, okay? Okay. If I ask, thank you. So let's go back, please. All right, so uh, welcome back everyone. I'm going to be closing the breaker rooms. So let me ask, so Nati, uh, did you practice already? Did you uh, take notes of what your classmate uh, told you? Uh, yes, we already practiced. Okay, and did you write something down? No se escribió, or do you remember something what your classmate told you? I remember she told me she were from Santa Ana and she was studying engineering in Universidad of El Salvador. And who are we talking about right now? Who are we talking about? Uh, Margarita. Margarita, okay. So, so you told me, uh, so you're telling us that she is currently studying at the university or she finished already? No, she is currently studying. She's currently studying, okay. All right. And what about her likes and dislikes? I mean, likes and interests, I'm sorry. Uh, she told me she likes to go to church. Okay. And she likes to watch in movies, I think. All right. Go to the cinema. Nice. And if I ask you right now, Nati, do you think that uh, you and... Uh, ¿A quién dijo que entrevistó, perdón? What do you say? You interviewed? Margarita. Margarita Garcia, okay. So do you think that you and Margarita could be good friends if COVID-19 were not around? <laughs> yes, I think we be good friends. You think so, right? So, and what about yeah. your, your what about your interests, Nati? What about your interests? Could you share with us your likes and your interests? Yes, my interests are sports. Okay. Uh, some studying, and I really like watching movies with my dad. Nice. Nice. And what's your what's your favorite? I will say your favorite type of, of, of movie. You do you like actions, westerns, thrillers, or mm, a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. Okay. Nice. <laughs> okay. I, I want to be your friend now because I really watch movies when I have the time. Okay. You know, right Action. now, yes. Currently, I'm watching the uh, Indiana Jones series. So I'm with the third movie right now, with the, the Last Crusade. And I already watched the first one, the second one, and the last one when he's old. But this one with Sean Connery, it's, it's one of the best ones, I think, if you have watched that one. So I suggest you go, you go and watch those movies. <laughs> okay, nice. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, uh, Nati. So anybody else that would like to share his or her information and uh, partner, please, too? Anybody says, uh, see, yes, teacher, I want to participate. Solo levantemos la manita. Vea, así como en la asamblea. <laughs> you know. Yes, anybody would like to say, teacher, me, please? You know, we, we, we got to practice over here. Hay que desenredar la lengua. We have to, you know, untwist our tongues. Yeah. <clears throat> Or should I pick? Should I pick you up? You know, should I pick you up? O sea, selecciono yo. Should I pick you up? Should I choose? Okay. So Manuel right. says yes, you know. So Manuel, would you like to help us then? <laughs> yes. Thank you, sir. Okay. So. okay. Of course, you are a man, right? I mean, I'm not judging you. No lo juzgo, yeah? <laughs> Um, so you, you can start uh, I currently live in uh, San Salvador but my hometown is uh, Morazan for example but the Morazan para el mundo right uh huh right yeah go ahead go ahead lo escuchamos you know we, we're listening to you uh, yo <coughs> Yeah, Manuel, go ahead. Okay, okay. Bueno. <laughs> <laughs> es que estaba pensé que no era yo. 
Ok, sí, sí, sí. este, hi, eh, eh, my name is Manuel Duarte, eh, sex max, eh, Korean City, eh, Metapan, eh, okay. Homeward, eh, Jardines eh, de Metapan, eh, email manuel.pachecoduarte, ¿cómo se dice arroba? At, y punto dice At. dot. Eh, no, ok, yes. Yes. okay continue. Eh, that's uh, lafarifolsing.com eh, 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 College eh, eh, University Francisco Gaviria Ok Employer eh, Holsing El Salvador Ok I like, I like football I like skid uh, mountain oh. All right And I, and I am good uh, uh, cooked lasagna. So you, you're, you, you cook very well lasagna. That's great. So, mandenos un pedacito a cuando cocine. You know, send us a piece of lasagna. You know, okay. Manuel, I, I have a friend. Thank you. I have a friend who lives in, in, in Metapan. And I've been to Metapan too. His name is Miguel Peraza. He's a teacher. You know, he works at a school. Miguel Peraza. Maybe you don't know him. So, uh... I, let's see who is in here. Um, just one second here. So, tenemos a dos personas que trabajan para Olsen. Okay, we have a civil engineer. And uh, I think it was... Uh, hold on, please. Let me just get this. Yo soy malo con los nombres, así que tengo paciencia. I think me? it was it was Tania, right? Yeah. Yeah, Tania and you work for Olsen, but you're not colleagues, right? You don't work in the same uh, place, right? Because you, you're living in Metapan and you live somewhere else. But just a tip, I'm going to give you some advice. Un, un par de quizás como consejos por ahí. Remember that uh, you got to sound natural, okay? You got to sound natural. Entonces, palabritas así en específico nos van a ayudar a sonar un poquito más naturales. So, uh, and those words are called possessive adjectives. And that's what we're going to study tonight. Entonces, en lugar de decir, I, I am a man, or something like that, vamos a ir poniéndole palabrita, ¿verdad? Like grammar. So what I'm going to ask you, maybe not right now, is to write the, uh, the your information down in like in a paragraph, just like this. And, and I'm going to use my example, you know, to, you know, to, to show you how you could, you could do it. Okay. So um, nos saltamos la parte if I'm a man or not, right? So that's okay. Uh, and we go, uh, I currently live in, in Mexicanos, but my hometown is, is Susulután. My, I have three email addresses, but my personal address is uh, aljo1202 at gmail.com. Okay, that's my personal email address. I, education and work, you know, I went to Universidad del Salvador and I graduated back in 2012, no, 13 it was. And I currently work for uh, Inglés Corporativo in the evenings, but I work at Colegio La Matepec here in, in Santa Tecla uh, every single day, all right, for high school. My likes and interests, I love to go out, also to go to the mountains, you know, to, to hike a little bit with some friends. Last time I went to um, Cerro de Guasapa, And since I am from Berlin, Usulután, in there we have uh, un cerro, which is called Cerro Pelón, and we go there, you know, to, to hike a little bit. And I, I love to spend time with my family and also to watch movies and series when I have the time, okay? And also to read, okay? So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, you can do it even better than this. But my, my point is, pongámosle palabritas enlace, ¿verdad? You know, link information, We're not connectors. Connectors are the ones that matter. A, a good practice would be to write the information down, ¿verdad? Escribiéndolo, aprendemos dos veces. Because you write it down and then you notice some mistakes and then you say it. Pero por el tiempo, we're not going to do it right now. Pero si ustedes gustan que yo se los revise, me lo mandan hoy, me lo mandan mañana, and I can tell yes, you, and try to learn this. So, and just to, to, uh, to practice something, uh, let's say here somebody saying something, it says thanks. Le voy a decir mis otros dos correos. Vamos a ver si ustedes los captan. All right? 
se lo voy a decir como una práctica, you know, like, like some practice, some practice, extra practice over here. I'm going to tell you my email address, like a native speaker will say it to you. ¿Verdad? Así de corrido, sin nada de pausa. Recordemos que arroba se dice at y punto se dice dot. Si les menciono un guión bajo, it's under score. Se los mandé en el chat ahorita. Copy that everyone, I just sent that to you right now. Yes? Yes. Well, so are you ready? So I'm going to give you actually my three email addresses. Just to tell you, one is from Gmail, one is from my work, and the other one, it's another personal from Hotmail, okay? So I got Gmail, Hotmail, and then the school's uh, email that I have. Entonces, ready? Because I'm going to just tell it to you. Vamos a hacer como un pequeño dictado, okay? All right? Okay. Entonces, si ustedes gustan, agarren un cuaderno, you know, grab a, a, a notebook, or just get your cell phone uh, ready. And then you're going to send. Después les voy a pedir de favor que me manden, como ustedes piensan que es mi correo, mis tres correos, al WhatsApp. Okay, that's what you're going to. You're going to share that with me. Okay. Are you ready? All right, so here we go. Uh, so my Gmail address is aljo12022 at gmail.com. Repeat, please. Yes. aljo12022 at gmail.com. You can say it. That's okay. One more time, please. Or something like that. Eh, no importa. Usted escríbanlo. Could you repeat, yes. please? Absolutely. Escriban because uh, I, my internet is not working very well. No problem. Let me say it one more time, please. Okay. Uh, okay, my, thank you. You're welcome. So my email is aljo1202 at gmail.com. Remember that my name is Jose Francisco Alfaro Cruz. So I'm using a combination of my last and my first name. Okay. So could you send... gmail.com, right? That's correct. Yes, that's correct, Raquel. Uh, so send a text to WhatsApp to see what you get. All right. I'm not going to say it's correct or not. Just send it, please. It's okay if you don't get it. Okay, it's okay if you didn't get it right, but we're gonna try to practice that, all right? So, you know, it doesn't matter if you didn't get, if you did not get my email right. Pero quiero que, si gustan, me lo mandan por WhatsApp. Creo que ya lo comenzaron a mandar. If you started sending this already, let's see. Okay. And this one is Miguel. You almost get it, sir. You almost got it. You have, you almost have it complete. Yeah. All right, almost, almost. Nice. There you go. Okay. I can hear the last. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Okay. Somebody else that would like to send it over here? Somebody else? Somebody else that, that wants to give it a try in here, please? Okay. So uh, let, me, let me give you the second one. All right? Let me give you the second one. All right? Ready? No, yeah. no, give me a second, give me a second. Okay, okay. All right, so uh, are you ready now? For me, yes. Yeah. All right, so here we go. The second one, it's from Hotmail. A Hotmail, okay? And so and here we go. It's um, J-O-S-E underscore a L F A C R U Z. Este sí es un poquito difícil, ¿verdad? Um, okay, one more time, please. Jocelyn says. All right. So yes. my e my email address is J O S E underscore A L F A C R U Z. Okay, in the Gmail, eh, Jocelyn K. 
casi, casi lo tuvo bueno. Solamente que no es Y en, en el primero de, del Gmail. Es Aljo1202. Ok. So, Aljo1202. That's the first one. Ok. ALJO1202. That's the first one. Pero el de Hotmail, vamos ahorita. Third time. The third time. Remember, it's a combination of my, of my, of my names. Si ustedes saben cómo me llamo, José Francisco Alfaro. Cruz. Ok. Maybe it's a combination. Ok. Here we go. My email address, J-O-S-E underscore A-L-F-A-C-R-U-Z at holdmail.com. Okay. Thank you, Miguel. You got it right. Jose Bajo Alfa Cruz arroba holdmail.com. That's the one. Okay. You may wonder, ¿y por qué el primero es bien raro? Porque es mi, mi apellido de Alfaro, Al, y luego Jo de José. All right? And 1202 is just a generic number. Okay, the last one. I told you already that I work for Colegio La Matepec. Okay? So, if you work for Olsen, for example, Manuel, maybe, maybe your email is uh, Olsen El Salvador dot SB or something like that. Right? Maybe something like that. Right. That's, that, that's uh -huh. your... Uh, so, my school's email is... Uh, J O S E dot A L F A R O at uh, Lamatepec dot Edu dot S V. Then that's the one. It's pretty similar to my personal account. Right? I didn't get it. Too. You didn't get it, right? So let me say it again. So, uh, again, please. Sure, absolutely. So my work email is. Uh, J O S E dot A L F A R O at Lamatepec dot Edu dot S V. All right. All right. But let's, okay, any idea? Can somebody just send it in, in the email over here, please? I mean, in, in the uh, WhatsApp, please. Okay. That, uh, does somebody want to share it with, with the rest of the class? Compartámoslo, por favor. Vamos a ver. Yes, you got it. Pero no es punto .com. Es uh, punto .sb. Punto .edu, punto .sb. All right? Okay, There you got it. There you got it, Nati. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So that's the one. Jose, uh, that's Alfaro, .edu sb. In Spanish, it's easy, right? Because we just say, uh, my email is um, jose bajo alfa cruz arroba .com. That's what we say, right? But in English, it's a little bit more complicated, okay? So you may say that as well. You can say uh, jose dot alfaro at lamatepec dot edu dot, dot sv. You can say that. But if you didn't get, get it uh, the first time, you need to ask the spelling, please. Esa es la lógica. Si usted no, no sabe cómo se escribe algo, tiene que preguntar cómo se deletrea. That's the logic over there. All right? Um, let's, let's move forward over here with the next activity. Okay, we have only 10 minutes to complete this activity. And this is about the simple past with the verb be. And the simple past with some other verbs. Okay? And what you're going to do is this. Remember, if you're asking about uh, the past with the verb be, you ask, where were you born, for example? Donde nació? And you, you got to answer, I was born in El Salvador, right? Were you born in, uh, I don't know, Guatemala? You can say, no, I yeah. wasn't. Oh, or you can say, yes, I was, for example. If you want to use the simple past with some other verbs, que los otros verbos que no sean el verbo to be, el auxiliar es did, all right? You go, When did you move to Los Angeles? El verbo no cambia. All right, so keep that in mind. And then you said, I moved here 10 years ago. I didn't speak English back then. And then, si quieren hacer una pregunta de sí o no, a yes, no question, you just go, did you, okay? Did you take English classes in Argentina? Did you take English classes at Inglés Corporativo? You can say, yes, I did. And, and then I took classes for a year or no, I didn't. My aunt told me at home. All I'm saying is that this information can be found in the platform as well. 
la misma información, the same information is already available in English Corporativo platform. So what I'm doing is I'm just sharing it with you, okay? And I believe, I strongly believe that you guys are going to uh, learn English by practicing. Más que todas las reglas nos van a ayudar a practicar mucho. And that's what we're going to do right now, okay? So, and since we still have time, okay, we still have time, we're going to practice this in person again. And what you're gonna do, what you're gonna do is to fill in the blanks. Dice, complete these conversations, then practice with a partner. Could you tell me a little about yourself? And then you're gonna ask, if usted mira una clue, como una pista de esto, ah, voy a utilizar esto. Where were you born? And then you say, I was born in South Korea. All right, and then you're gonna ask, okay, yo miro otro verbo. ¿Cuál es el auxiliar? So what's the auxiliary? Is this the one I'm going to use? All right? So you say, did you grab there? El verbo no cambia cuando hacemos una pregunta y cuando lo ocupamos en negativo. Keep that in mind, please. The verb does not change if it's negative or if it's a question. Okay? And then, respuesta corta. It's short answer. No, I didn't. I, como doy la respuesta larga, the verb needs to be used in past. I grew up in Canada. It's very important, everyone, that you memorize the verbs. Aquí no hay vuelta de hoja, como decimos, hay que memorizarse los verbos. Pero no se aprendan 50 verbos, aprendanse lo que ustedes vayan viendo día a día. And that's the best thing I can tell you. El mejor consejo que les puedo dar, aprendanse los verbos que vayan viendo mientras vayan progresando. No se vayan a aprender 100 verbos. Okay? And that's what I did. Entonces... What I'm going to do for you right now, I'm going to split you in purse. Lo vamos a poner en parejas, and then you're going to fill in the blanks and practice the conversation with your classmate, okay? You have five minutes for this. Okay. okay. All right, so let me just one second come here. And here we go. All right, so... Um, Join the rooms, please. We have uh, Adriana with Edwin, Jocelyn with Miguel, Mariana with Nati, Manu with Tania, eh, Jose Antonio with Zulma, Raquel uh, has not joined. I'm going to move you to break of five. All right. All right, I'm going to send this image to you, okay? Ya les mando la imagen. Okay, I'm going to send it to you. Um, one second over here. <clears throat> all right, all right. Uh, so let's try to practice this, please. Yeah. Hello, Adriana. I mean, you can you can Hi. do it. To, you can do it. To, you can do it together. You know, with um, let's see who you're practicing with. You're practicing with Edwin. Yeah, you can do it together if you like. Okay. Well, this is. That. You know, this is supposed to be a, a conversation. So, uh, let's. It's okay if you don't finish the, the three of them, but at least try to practice maybe the first one and the second one, please. Okay. Ah, okay. <clears throat> it's a conversation, remember. Uh, who wants B? Uh, Adriana, uh, you want to be A or B? Sure. Hi, Adriana, go ahead, please. Uh, you want I can start. Uh, will you tell me a little about yourself? Where 
Where? Uh -huh. <coughs> Aha, Adriana. Okay. Ah, I was wrong in um San Salvador. Okay, uh, but right now it's it's okay. Let's use this information. Okay, let's use this information right now. Okay. Lo que estamos haciendo, estamos practicando la información que está acá. No es necesario cambiarla, ¿verdad? Ah, ok. Si yo era un chinche. Ok. Did you know? Oh, no. Did you? Mm. Uh -huh. So, what do you say here, Adriana? So, did ah, you okay. grab? Uh -huh. Ajá. Or, or, or eh. let me... Ajá. Uh -huh. Let me give you a, a, a demonstration over here, okay? So right now, Edwin, okay. you're going to be A and I'll be B. Go ahead, please, Edwin. Okay. Uh, could you tell me a little about yourself? Where, where were you born? I was born in South Korea. Uh, did you grow up there? No, I didn't. I grew up in Canada. Ahora yo comienzo, la número dos. Okay, ahora yo pregunto. Now you, I ask, Edwin, when, when did you begin to study English? I was in middle uh, school. I was in middle school. Okay. What uh, What did you think of English class at first? I was. Ajá, si ocupo el think, va a utilizar el verbo think en pasado. Okay, that's what you're going to do. Sí, just by, you know, remember. I, I thought, I, I thought. I thought. I thought I thought it was a little difficult, but fun. Okay, now you ask, you ask the questions now, Edwin. Ahora usted pregunta. Pero eh, hagamos, hagamos lo siguiente, si gusta. Uh, practice the first one and the second one with Adriana, porque al final ustedes tienen que practicar, okay? okay. And then we, we gotta say goodbye after that, all right? Yeah. All right, so Nati again, you're done practicing already? <laughs> yes, we're done. All right, so did you complete uh, the three conversations over there? Yes, the three conversations. Nice, I'm glad you did over there. So, uh, you know, right now the class is over. We're going to continue with this tomorrow and that's going to be the first the first exercise for, for tomorrow, okay? So, I gotta finish. I gotta finish the uh, video call right now because I have another class that I need to start right now. But tomorrow we're going to review this. We're going to review these answers. Okay? If you want, you can send this to me, and I can tell you everything is correct. But just keep in mind that this is the same information as the platform. Es lo mismo que está en la plataforma. Okay? It's the same thing. Same information over there. So this is going to help you complete the platform. Así que lo voy a dejar porque necesito irme para la otra clase. And I hope to see you tomorrow. All right? Okay. All Thank right, you. So have, tomorrow. Okay. so have a great night. Goodbye. Bye. So have a good night. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow.